Hi guys and welcome to another Eva Knows video. So I don't kind of know at the point that I'm releasing this, I don't really know what's kind of going on in the big online world or the big real world at the moment. So I thought I'd just kind of keep my channel hopefully fairly light and um, fairly still business focused and kind of working from home style focused and everything that it's always been just because I, I don't know everything that's going on and obviously these videos aren't going to be released at the exact time that I am creating them. So hopefully all of you are well, hopefully all of you are doing good and everybody is safe and that's the most important thing. Um, but I thought I would just kind of create some videos just to kind of keep my channel going and also to hopefully be a bit entertaining for you guys um, and also hopefully a bit informative as well with kind of how I'm running my businesses and how I'm working from home because I've worked from home for the last four years so I kind of naturally am a size self isolator I suppose. So in this video I thought I would talk to you guys about some of the things that I am purchasing for my home office that I have been purchasing over the last couple of months. I don't know if you guys have been following my journey, I don't know how new you are to the channel but basically the house that we are living in now is a property that we've basically brought to do up and eventually sell on um, but whilst we're, we've bought it we're living in it as well and so it's kind of a little bit of a balancing act. We've basically working with things that I've already had um, you know because I don't want to be completely catering to this house because eventually we will be moving on from this house and we'll be moving to a different one and um, but also I want to buy pieces for my home office that are going to transition to basically whatever home office I move to so I basically know the color schemes that I like I know kind of the environment that I like to work in and um, it's very neutral you could probably see here this is still a work in progress but it's very neutral it's very light I like to have things like faux flowers or even real flowers in my home office lots of mirrors to bounce light and obviously for work what I do lots of inspirational quotes and things like that but I still at the end of the day like to keep it you know fairly light hopefully fairly classy and elegant and these are just the things that I really like so what I wanted to share with you was this is the first time I've ever done this basically kind of like a hall style for my home office the first time I've ever done this on my channel, I think like like an actual sit down haul. But I wanted to talk through some of the things that I've brought into my home office over the last couple of months, and um, why I love them, how they've helped me, whether that's business wise or just kind of like for, for creating a really nice environment that I like to be in. And yeah, I just thought I'd kind of dive straight into that really. So the very first item that I'm gonna be talking about, I bought a couple of weeks ago, and I bought it because I, I went through a phase where I realized that I was really dehydrated. I think I mentioned it on my um, Instagram to you guys, and I did like a poll, and quite a few of you, it was quite interesting, but quite a few of you said the same thing, that you don't think you drink enough water kind of throughout your work day. And the problem with me is I work upstairs, and obviously my kitchen, kitchen is downstairs and I was finding that I was getting really lazy especially when we were still in the process of doing this house and so we didn't have all the glasses out and everything like that I was getting really lazy of just grabbing a glass of water and I would just be sipping on one glass of water throughout most of the day which obviously was nowhere near enough and I kind of thought enough's enough I need to actually you know have a way to monitor how much I'm drinking so what I decided to do was go online and I went on to Amazon and I will link everything in the description box below of everything that I personally use um, but I went on to Amazon and I purchased one of these which is a glass water bottle the reason I purchased a glass water bottle was because I, I don't know if it's me but I just don't like drinking out of plastic that much I just find that like I feel like it gets a bit marked and, and dirty obviously if you're wearing lipstick and things like that over time um, and I just don't feel like it can be as clean obviously that's probably me just being silly but I just prefer a glass water bottle and I found this one and honestly I absolutely love it it's from a company called Ryako I think I think that's how you spell it Ryako quite a decent size it feels really really good um, and I just find it so easy to drink out of and fill up throughout the day and I think that this is the 550 ml one and it comes with this really cool kind of sleeve and it's like a non-slip sleeve so it's great because when I'm carrying things around like my laptop and all my notebooks and everything like that I literally can just hook this on my arm which is what I do and then I can just walk around with it and I know that that's not going to go anywhere but I just monitor my drinking so much better with this and yeah just really inexpensive as well I think this was like I can't remember how much I'll put it on the screen or I'll link it below but quite inexpensive for what it is and I have been using it every day ever since and it sits 
on my desk with me every day every morning all the way till the evening and then when i go downstairs i can either leave it or sometimes i even take this to bed with me and just have this as like i drink this first thing in the morning so i know i'm having a good amount of water and if you are looking for you know a really good water bottle just to have with you at work or if you work from home whatever it is then i find this one is a really really good option so yeah love that one second thing i'm going to be talking to you about you've probably seen a fair bit about actually i'm just going to gather them all up because they're all over the place in my office um, because I have them as like I use them as decoration and everything like that. Basically, was looking recently for some stationery, and there is another YouTuber who is just I absolutely love her content. And her YouTube channel is a channel called Lily Like, um, and she has a, a stationery brand basically called Supplied by Lily. And I've for years I've been watching her. For years I just think her aesthetic is. So so beautiful and I finally thought right that's it now that I have this beautiful home office well I kind of think this isn't a nice home office I want to get some really beautiful stationery and um, this stationery is not for jotting notes down this is for most of the time either styling or for if it's like I just you know there's something really really important that I want to do absolutely stunning when I got it I was like wow that's a brand that sticks by what it what it represents basically beautiful aesthetics because they have different names for the different styles but it's this style which has got this absolutely stunning kind of like flock i think it's called kind of style and um, it's got birds and flowers and i just wanted something like this for springtime and um, because i do like to change my home office up depending on kind of the time of year and things like that so i just had to kind of like brighten it up because i think it was looking a bit dark but yeah depending on the time of year so if it's the winter or autumn i like to kind of work with more wintery stationery and you know have wintry desktop things and savers and stuff like that but in the spring and summer which i am so so ready for and i think a lot of us are to be honest especially with like everything that's going on at the moment um i i just really wanted something to brighten up my my home office and i found this stationery and it's just stunning so i bought the a4 pad the paper in it is absolutely beautiful this is just at the moment this is just a piece of art just sat on my shelf over there but i will eventually use it when i've got something worthy of using this for then i also have the a5 version as well i bought like the bundle packet so i also have the a5 version as well and i also got the kind of desktop planner which is probably one of my favorite pieces and um, this is probably one of the things that actually sold it to me in the first place getting it but i absolutely love it it's got this beautiful pattern to it there's a study one and then there's one that's like for you know obviously your work related kind of thing. The thing that I love about really really smart stationery is that I only use smart stationery when like I am 100% solidified on that being what I'm going to do or something I'm going to achieve or a goal that I want to hit that I think yeah I want to have that in a beautiful piece of stationery so I can keep the whole thing as a memory. Anything that I want to just jot down on I'll either just use like a scrap of paper or I'll use like a you know a more inexpensive notebook that is probably going to get lost in the ether but that's fine but for things that i just want to you know really be specific on it's like a to-do list and it's my intentions for the month and things like that then once i decided what i wanted to do on scraps of paper and bits of bobs i wrote down the kind of finished list and the finished thing in this desktop planner and i absolutely have just loved these pieces they're so stunning um, and they have like this really sort of soft feel to them i've got like a really slight look almost wax like feel to them absolutely stunning and then i also bought this as well which is their little supplied by lily to-do list this was another beautiful spring style that they have in their collection and i did want to get the um like the notepads and things in this one but at the time i think they were sold out with this so i just wanted to get this just so i could kind of see what the patterns are like in real life and think if this is something else i'd want for spring and i'm definitely going to be getting more of these because they i just they, i just put them in my home office i put them on my desk as well and things like that and i just they're just bring a little bit of spring into my room which is great so honestly worth the money worth the time and that is my complete honest review i go through a lot of notebooks a lot of pens and, and bits and bobs and stuff and these just uh, pieces of art that I put in this room. The next thing that I want to talk about, I'm really conscious of time here so I'm trying to be quick, is obviously my happy planner. So I have had a number of happy planners. There's another one around here somewhere that's from the previous year and while we were unpacking um, the house I actually found the first one that I brought as well which just made me fall in love with the happy planners and this is the one that I bought recently. Uh, this is the hustle and heart version and I brought this 
and I've been trying to work out ways to use this because this is a slightly different one. I did, I think, like a video around this or I mentioned it in a video that this has got a slightly different layout than the ones I'm used to which usually have like the the three part um so they usually have so if I just show you I hope this doesn't reveal anything so you like they usually have like three sections and then you can put different things in your section it's just a completely different layout and this is basically like you get like a block and you just fill in what you're doing in your planner and it took me a little while to get used to it but I was mentioning to you guys on my Instagram that I am starting to get which I wasn't previously into things like stickers um, and I did show you a bunch of stickers that I bought that I absolutely love but I was just basically getting into the habit of trying like I created some of my own stickers this time for things like when I want to have days off and stuff like that so that I just see it loud and clear or when I've got events um, I'm also trying to use it as a little bit of a gratitude journal as well so I've created these little things that are kind of tell me to write something that I'm you know happy with that day or something like that and I'm trying to be a bit more kind of style wise with it and obviously something like that is the sticker and that's a sticker that came with that set that I was talking to you about which again I'll link below absolutely love my happy planner and I have been doing this thing as well this year of um I think it's called like Frankenstein planning or something like that. But basically it's like some of the pages that I didn't previously use in my previous happy planners. I've just, because of the way that it's created, you can just stick them into this happy planner. So for example, this is one that's actually part of this planner book. But then this one, and this was um, a page from a previous year's planner that I've just used because I like, you know, I didn't use it from the previous year and I've kind of just added that in. I've really started to find my rhythm with this planner now and I absolutely love it. It sits on my desk open on the week that I have and it just helps me write down anything that I need to remember to do or any to-do list that I need to, like any to-dos that I need to remember. So it's super, super kind of colourful and, you know, lots of women go get women on it and stuff which i don't always have with my planners but this one i just felt like i needed it this year when we moved into this house i was a bit struggling and i just wanted something in my office that just kind of i looked at every day and it just gave me the drive to push through the week and i really use this as my gratitude journal as well so that i can just kind of once i finish a day in my office or i finish working in my office i literally just spend five minutes filling this out yeah they're really great to look back on as well especially when you work for yourself and you work you know you do the same thing every day really coming in it's nice to see your progress so that's why i really really love this planner super super recommend it if you are into planning yourself and again like i said i'll link all the stuff below so if you want the planner or you might even want the planner but there's like stickers and things that i use then i can link that down for you below the next thing that i'm going to be showing you is something that i discovered on etsy actually obviously i have my own etsy shop but i also like to shop on etsy as well and i originally discovered them on etsy they're a fairly small company and they're called vegan bunny and they basically sell soy candles um and their candles are absolutely beautiful i love to light candles in my office i love to have candles near me and then obviously recently worked out that actually candles are not the best for health when it comes to kind of just your bog standard candles but for me i'm happy to pay i mean to prefer they're not even that much more like at all to be honest but i'm happy to kind of search for candles you know a lot more kind of um less bad things in them and um, so that i can have them not too far away from me i can have them in my office i can have them in my living room and things like that so i eventually discovered soy candles and these ones are made with soy and essential oils and i absolutely love them i did have a little bit of an issue with delivery i think because i think it's just a small company i think they got like a little bit cross wires with things that i'd ordered and stuff like that but i've just bought one up for you but i've actually brought i think four or something like that and I have them scattered around my house so don't just have them in my office I have the lavender one in my office and to be honest this one I carry around with me wherever I go um because it just smells absolutely amazing that's what it looks like it comes in these beautiful tins and yeah just a, this is a lavender soy candle soy wax and lavender essential oil and yeah I just have this it smells absolutely beautiful it smells so pure 
that's the only way I can really describe it and so you can tell I've already been using this one quite a bit but I have a number of other ones as well that I've got recently and I just absolutely love them and I did think you know I like to light candles while I'm working especially if I'm trying to just relax while I'm working or if I'm like at a point in the evening where I just want to wind down and just do a bit of work I like lighting candles but I decided I want to have candles that are a lot healthier to have around me that I haven't got so many things in them that are just not really good for you so I went on the search for some soy candles and I discovered these ones and I just really like the aesthetics I really like the smells They're a lot more earthy and natural smelling than a lot of other candles so that's really really nice so that is like a beautiful candle and like I hopefully I'll have an image or something so I can show you some of the other ones I have but yeah definitely you know worth checking them out if you are interested in soy candles and I'm also always looking for more options of different candles and things like that because I love candles there are candles all over the place in my office in my house and everything like that the next thing that I'm going to be mentioning is not something that I actually have in my office just yet because actually the one that I have in my office right now is I don't I'm literally I'm breaking the third wall or fourth wall or something this is actually the lamp that I have in my office right now from Ikea that I absolutely love but I recently just purchased a, a beautiful lamp from a place called um, Hudson Home and I just got it delivered today and it is so 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 beautiful so hopefully i'll be able to show you what it looks like in this video and um, where it's situated now in our living room but i really wanted to talk about that i really wanted to mention this lamp because i love having lamps in my home office because sometimes especially when i'm not filming and things like that and i just want to have like a bit of a lower light rather than having a heavy light over me while i'm working i love to have a lamp on and originally i've got the one from ikea which i absolutely love it's like a mirror effect lamp and um, but i am seriously um and ah and about switching them round and putting the Hudson lamp in there instead because it's just absolutely beautiful it's got like a glass bell shape to it and it's got like a cream lampshade to it that's the word I'm thinking of a cream lampshade to it and it's just so beautiful and the light that it lets off is really really stunning and I am kind of tempted to bring that one up here if you see that one migrate into this office somehow it's probably because I fell so in love with it that I want to feature it in my videos and also I just want to have it in my office when like I'm working late or if I'm working on something that I've got to be calm and chilled about but sometimes I like to work via lamplight instead and those lamps are absolutely stunning so I thought I'd mention those to you as well and finally something else that I kind of wanted to talk about obviously this video is much more about kind of the home decor style or the decor style of my office not really about like the tech equipment that I use but I, if you enjoy these videos if you enjoy me talking about things that I'm adding to my office whether they are more technical or they are more decor and decorative then definitely give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below because I don't know if you guys would enjoy you know or would enjoy kind of learning about how I style my home office and this space and um, but I'm just hoping that you guys do and I thought I'd just create this content to see whether you guys do like that but this one's kind of sticking to the home office style of things and basically this is incorporating diffusers into my home office so I in a previous house had my home office which is the first home office I ever created and I really started to realize that certain scents and smells that I have in that space can really affect my productivity can really affect what I'm doing it's I don't know if it's weird, I don't know if that's completely normal, but for example, if I have really calming scents in my home office, sometimes I could become fairly lethargic, and so I have to kind of have measured calming scents. So for example, this type of thing, it's beautiful, it's lovely and calming, but I can put a lid on it and I can stop this smell um, and this scent whenever I want really so in the evenings I can have this on but in the day when I actually need to do a ton of work I probably wouldn't have a lavender one I do have one that's more of like a bright bubbly smell that I do like to have in here during the day but I also most of the time when I'm not when I'm not got a candle near me I like to use diffusers hopefully I'll show you the one in my home office in some sort of way now but I just wanted to let you know about the scent that I am using in my home office so this is a scent which is the Huxley Seascape and it is from Neptune and it is so we have a Neptune near where I live and I went in one day and they had this smell like just permeating through the place and I was like that is just so nice like it's not too kind of intense that you feel like oh I'd be really uptight if I was working in that space but it's not too relaxed that I'm like oh I can't bother to do anything I'm too tired whenever I'm in this room it's like a really beautiful fresh 
smell that just kind of makes me happy to bumble about in my office all day long and so basically I bought the refill bottle and I bought some reeds as well from there and I literally just I have some diffuser pots and things already and I just fill a little bit of this up with the diffuser and I just let it permeate the room and after a day or so I just have like a really nice smell throughout the room and a really nice scent and for me that might be a weird thing for other people but for me I just really like to have a really nice kind of space to work in and that literally comes down to even the way that like the scent is in the room and things like that if you have a home office or if you just have a space that you're trying to work in and you're just maybe you're finding like I just don't know why I really struggle to work in here something might be worth looking at is kind of what is what's the sensations in there what are the senses in there sometimes the lighting can be a bit off and it makes you drowsy or tired or or too alert and it's too bright and it hurts your eyes sometimes it can be like i said the smell in there and it might be that it's just it's just not conducive it's too relaxing or, or it's too overstimulating and you're just sometimes you get a headache from it which happens to me sometimes you know or it could be you know the seat you're sat on in my previous office at one point it was literally hurting my shoulders my back and I couldn't understand why I would wake up in the morning with like arm ache and back ache and everything and after a while I realized it was because my desk layout the way that like my computer was situated in relation to me and my chair meant that I was obviously straining certain areas in my body to kind of keep that position for a long amount of time because it it is a bit of a science when you work on a computer all the time to get it right and to make sure your body's comfortable and that you're comfortable in that space and that's why I just kind of wanted to create every now and again if you guys want me to hauls on things that I'm adding and slowly incorporating into my office space and you know things that I just really like and things that I find either work to kind of help me productivity wise or help me just create an environment that really works for me and works for me working really yes yeah, so i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that some of these things might be great for your space or they might just make you go like oh actually if i incorporate something like that that might be great into my home office or into the space even if it's like your your dining room table that you're working on over four young, long years of working and working in lots of different environments and things from from a home point of view i've definitely realized like how important it is for me personally to create a space that i just keeps me productive keeps me focused makes me want to come back to and just makes me feel really comfortable while I'm working there so yeah hopefully this video will help you guys with some of that and definitely like I said let me know if you want me to do more of these videos more kind of home office hauls and things like that or desk hauls and things like that in the future and I'll definitely create more of those and um, but I hope you enjoyed this video if you do definitely subscribe to the channel because there'll be more of these videos and more all around business and building an online business and you know working from home and everything like that in the weeks to come so and the months to come so I'll see you soon guys. Bye.